M1 Global presents. Hi, my name is Kenny Deuce Gardner. I'm fighting out of Port St. Lucie, Florida, American Top Team. Меня зовут Максим Гришин. Я из России, город Тамбов. Представляю клуб Святого Оксаневского, город Сарасков. I will be knocking somebody's head off their shoulders tonight, live on Showtime. Сегодня я постараюсь показать прекрасный бой и привлечь больше фанатов к нашим единоборствам. And now joining us to the blue corner, standing at six feet three inches, he weighed in at 220 pounds with a record of 11 wins and five losses. Here's a Sambo trained freestyle fighter from Staryovskol by way of Tambov, Russia, introducing Maxim Grishin. Here comes Maxim Grishin, riding a four fight win streak Three of those victories via a form of knockout. Throwing an arm triangle choke in for good measure as well. And as I mentioned, he is a teammate of a former Pride heavyweight champion, Fyodor Emelianenko. This guy played soccer growing up. He took up fighting in the army where he is an officer in reserve for the past eight years. Uh, former Russian hand-to-hand -hand fighting champion in the military. He likes fighting because it gives him a chance to make quick decisions in extreme situations. And talk about extreme situations. We've had a total of two minutes and 45 seconds of action in the first three fights of the night. As we take a look at his last three fights, all wins. Yes, he's on, he's on a streak. After losing to a very tough fighter, um, four fights back actually, that wasn't on the screen, I apologize. But uh, this kid's young, he's very aggressive, tough guy, he's, he's got the right mentality. He, uh, through his interpreter, was a very, very bright kid actually. Yeah, the last time he lost was against the M1 Challenge heavyweight champion who, as we mentioned, in attendance tonight, but injured. Suffered an elbow injury in training. He was uh, defeated by Guganishvili via rear naked choke in March of this year. So he'll try to uh, earn the right to rematch the undefeated champion. But of course, he'll first have to go through the man known as Deuce, Kenny Garner. And now joining us to the red corner, standing at six feet even, he weighed in at 255 pounds. His record, seven wins, three losses. Here is the heavy-handed freestyle fighter from Port St. Lucie, Florida, introducing Kenny Deuce Garner. And indeed, the Deuce is loose in M1 Challenge after he lost to current champion Guganishvili via guillotine choke in October of uh, 2010. He has recorded back-to-back -back knockout wins, including a victory over Pat Bennett in his last outing. Here's a guy who said that he was always fighting growing up, but back then he did it for free. After wrestling at Gloucester County College in New Jersey and moving around a lot, he was asked a question that would change his life. A friend of his brother asked him if he knew how to fight, and Garner's immediate response was, quote, do you want me to punch you in the face, end quote. I always know the answer when you ask me that question, a firm no, but uh, in any event, he is now training with the likes of uh, former UFC fighter Din Thomas, an American top team in Port St. Louis, Florida. A very gregarious individual, as you can see, the only loss in his last three fights against Yeah, you see the loss to champion Gugans really, but he ran off two wins. The last fight against Pat Bennett, we called. It was fun. Uh, a lot of excitement in that one. It was fun until he uh, forgot my name during the uh, post-fight uh, interview. I don't remember your name. Mauro Domenico Antonio Ronaldo. So Garner, always confident, maybe sometimes bordering on arrogant, but uh, it's interesting. He had little to say about his destruction of uh, Bennett. But uh, never at a loss for words, he predicts that he is going to stop anyone in the first round. And if uh, <laughs> the rest of the action tonight is any indication, that prediction may come true for, for both individuals here tonight, because I'm sure Maxim Grishin would like to vanquish Garner in a lickety-split fashion. Let's take a look now at the tail of the tape for this heavyweight contest scheduled for five five-minute rounds, the interim 
title fight. The, the young Russian gentleman, Max Grishin, is nine years younger, has a three-inch height advantage. Garner, though, has one inch and 35 pounds on his Russian opponent, Grishin. All right, fans, here we go. We're scheduled five five-minute rounds for the M1 Global Interim Heavyweight Championship. And our referee in charge of the action, Ron Nation. Kenny, you ready? Maxim, you ready? Fight! The bell and round one, we are scheduled for five. Kenny Dusgarner with a red tape around his gloves. Christian with the blue and immediately Garner storming Christian along the ropes. Knee to the belly. Using that weight, getting on Christian right away. Huge weight advantage over Christian. Christian two inches taller than Garner, but when you're in close, negates that and there's a blistering body shot. Another right hand to the floating rib. Turning the tables is Grisham now as he jockeys for position along the ropes. Hard body shot, and look at Grisham. You pay attention to his hand hooking the rope, being smart, doing it when the referee can't see it. Good job of throwing the bigger man back against the ropes. It's very important, I think, to keep your opponents back on the ropes because he has trouble positioning, stopping for take, stopping takedowns, and, and uh, he can only move left or right. He can't go backwards. Gardner wanting to separate, create some distance, maybe wants to work the knees a little bit more. Right now, just putting all of his size, trying to tire out Grisham here early in round one. Time being called by the referee. Don't say, don't say the peninsula south of the border. Uh, no, I won't say that. In fact, I'll say the peninsula south of the equator. Oh, the equator. Oh, okay. You all right? You what a ready? tool. You ready? All right. So Need Christian able to recover quickly, and Garner extending his hand as a sign of sportsmanship. Low kick delivered by Christian. Front kick there. And oh, vicious left hand by Garner staggers Christian. Christian needs to keep his hands up tight. Very loose is Kenny News Garner moving in, waiting in, and once again pinning Christian along the ropes momentarily. Christian pulling out. Back up to his feet now. I'm surprised that Garner's going for takedowns. They exchange knees to the solar plexus. Oh, a vicious knee from Christian on the exit. Garner connects with the straight right hand. Immediately, Christian closes the distance again. They grapple him on the ropes. Driving the knee into the midsection again is Garner mixing it up here. Does Garner ever set anything up? I haven't seen it. He just throws pops from the word go. Taking a page out of the Leonard Garcia playbook. <laughs> now Grisham. Wanting a block there. A liver shot. Oh, another left hand to the liver there by Garner. Garner just unloading those left hands. Grisham needs to circle away from the corner. You know, Grisham wanted this fight to go into the second and third round because he feels that Kenny Deuce Garner does gas, he does fatigue later on in the fight. So he, I think he's being smart right now, keeping it tied up. I'm sure the fans who paid their hard-earned money here in the Grand Canyon University Arena wouldn't mind seeing a fight going into the second round as well. <laughs> Again, they continue to jockey for position, the bigger Garner able to control Grisham along the ropes. Pace is settled, now Grisham pulls out knee to the chin and immediately goes for the body lock. now looking to pummel, looking to just get dominant position. He's the taller individual here, Pat. Yeah, he's, he is, but, uh, you know, with all that weight dragging your arms down, you wonder how tired Christian's going to get also when you got a heavy man laying on you like that. Final 60 seconds of the opening round. Garner moves Christian into the corner again. Pace 
Jones has slowed. Garner talked about his ground fighting, but he's not able to uh, demonstrate it for us if he can't get the takedown on the lighter Grisham. On the exit, Grisham lands a knee, catches Garner with the right. Garner now connects with the left on the counter. 30 seconds left in the open round. Great head movement by Grisham, changing levels, faking takedowns. That was pretty cool. Body lock by Garner now. Let's see if he can try to take this to the Look ground. The room. Going for the trip takedown. Does so right into side control. But time is of the essence here. Ten seconds left in the opening round. Keep fighting. Ten seconds. Keep fighting. Yeah, ten seconds. Garner thought that was the, uh, the signal to the end of the round. But the whistle is the ten second warning. Uh, oh, and it was Christian. You saw looking for the arm lock from the bottom there, but uh, great round of action as a wild start to the NFL season. Who would have ever believed the Detroit Lions would be 5-0? and oh. You can get caught up with all the news from the National Football League with Inside the NFL. Wednesday's on Showtime. We're not resting the clinch, we're resting on the ground, all right? Rest on top. Garner, of course, was supposed to meet this man, Guram Guganishvili, the injured, undefeated heavyweight champion who is sitting at ringside. And, of course, it is most likely going to be the case when he recovers that he will face the winner of this fight to unify the titles. <laughs> There's the bell. Hold on. Seconds still need to get out of the ring. Referee signals for action. Again, Kenny Duscarter, red tape around the gloves. There's a jumping knee attack from Grisham with the blue tape around his gloves. There's the push kick keeping Garner at bay. Yeah, he's trying to keep the reach, the reach advantage. But Garner just bomb rushing it. And again, has him pinned along the ropes where he'll want to just continue to drain the energy from Grishin who's trying to fight his way out. Yeah, Grishin, it's, I mean, I have to be honest with you, you can tell he's got that strict Russian boxing style and very, very uh, good technically, but it's hard to show that when you got somebody bum rushing you that's 35, 40 pounds bigger. Gardner was trying to drop levels looking for the double leg takedown, being thwarted momentarily here by Grishin, has the underhook but has left that right side of his body where the, the liver is open and Garner has taken his shots. One minute gone here in the second stanza. Mark Rinello along with Pat Militich and our entire Showtime Sports crew coming to you from Grand Canyon University Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. This is M1 Challenge, the interim heavyweight title fight. Nice movement there by Grisham ducking that right hand but again unable to circle away Pat he has to create distance utilize the real estate of the ring or he's going to be in trouble like I say it's it's easier said than done when you've got somebody bum rushing you constantly Garner's doing a good job of keeping pressure on Grisham left to the body by Garner Those hands, look Lock out. Scoop him up for the double leg, gets the takedown. And now into the guard right above us here. Five of Garner's seven wins have come via form of knockout. Grishin has two submission wins on his resume. Tell you, those ropes are basically steel cables with a, with a hose around the outside of it. When you're laying on that bottom rope, man, that's like a, that's like a steel bar. Posturing up is Garner. In fact, he gets all the way up to his feet. And the referee is going to allow Grishin to get back up to a vertical base as well. And Grishin is taking his sweet time. He looks like he's hurt. And again, Grishin backing up. No bull rushing here, Patty. Backs up along to the ropes. He needs to circle. Absolutely, he does. Nice little uppercut hook attempt by him. But Garner doing a great job, man, using his weight, making, making Grisham carry it basically the entire fight. On the exit, lands a one-two uppercut, misses for Grisham.
Christian trying to wade his way out of trouble, but Garner again sticking to him like Velcro. Under two minutes now remaining in the second stanza. I'm surprised Garner's not dropping right down to the legs again because Christian was not able to stop that takedown at all. Garner looking for the body lock fans in Phoenix getting restless. They've been spoiled tonight. Yeah. Tough position for uh, Garner to get that takedown with the over under with a taller man. Exchanging knee strikes again to the midsection. Christian keeps reaching up, looking for that guillotine choke. But, uh, you know, that's actually kind of dangerous. Guys can get in on your legs pretty easily if you don't do it quick. There's a body lock and a takedown by Christian, who has top position now. Butterfly hook by Garner, but let's see what Garner can do from his back. Because Grisham needs to fight his way back into this into this title fight, interim title tilt. Yeah, well, he needs to posture up here and start unleashing some bombs. Forty-five seconds left in the round. Grisham, though, just putting his head down low. Now posturing up, backing up momentarily. Oh, an interesting guard pass. You know, that's, now, that's Brazilian, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu right there. Beautiful pass into the full now, Christian. That was very sweet indeed. And he now has the biggest advantage he's enjoyed throughout the fight. But again, only 10 seconds remaining. The arm is there for the taking, transitioning for the arm bar. Christian looking to submit him. Absolutely, good hustle to get that takedown on the bigger man. Went for the finish. Good job, everything's fine. He's not a good wrestler, so don't worry, you're doing a fine job. Everything is okay. Yeah. I'm gonna wait with you, just breathe deeply. Very deeply. You have to breathe, keep on breathing. Keep on breathing. Very good. Everything is normal. Just continue to work the way you were working before. Here's Grishin. He's got the. He lowers his grip down around the hips so he can take him down. Works a lot better the lower your grip is. Good job of getting that takedown. Here's the end of the round. He heard the whistle for 10 seconds left. Went for the armbar. Was not successful. Didn't have enough time. We heard from Russian translator Alex Savitsky in between rounds. We thank him for helping us. And of course, a, a very familiar uh, camp in the corner of Christian. Of course, uh, names that are connected to Fyodor Emelianenko. As the round begins, this is the third scheduled for five five minute rounds. A body shot, another body shot by Garner. Those short shots by Garner are hitting hard, man. He's got some power in there. You heard through our interpreter, Alec, the Russian corner saying that Garner doesn't know how to wrestle. Well, I mean, he obviously did not grow up wrestling his entire life. I wouldn't say he doesn't know how to wrestle, but he's having trouble right now, isn't he? Take down by Grisham. Grisham knows a thing or two about wrestling as he takes the big guy down. And now, oh, there's a smart move uh, by Garner. I don't know if it's very sports, but like he, he put himself out of the playing surface there. Instantly as if a guy does that, that tells me he's tired, he doesn't want to fight. He should not be rewarded and be stood up like that. He should be on his back because he wanted out of the he wanted out of the ring. And he should be warned. And if it happens again, I would say take a point away because you're Absolutely. right. Absolutely, and he should be on his back right now. They should restart it on the back. Instead, he has Grishin in the corner again. Has the space, but not delivering any strikes with the knees. Referee imploring them to do something. Uh, Grishin's proved that he can get the takedown if he can get the double underhook, so he needs to fight for that position again. Garner, obviously, right now a little tired. Still laying his weight on him. I'm waiting for Garner to open up and start throwing bombs. Stinging him with those body shots to the ribcage. Two of them. Finally, Grishin moves away. Left push kick. Garner 
misses with the left, comes in, gets caught with the left hook from Christian. Good head movement. Well, there he got stuck with the left hand, and now Christian gets rocked with the right, looking for the takedown, doesn't get it, sprawling his corner, back on his feet. Christian now in the butt scoop position, referee will bring him to his feet. Less than three minutes now remaining in the third round. And again, Christian getting, I mean, the referee's got to get him up. You haven't had a 255-pound guy hey, land on you, now. I'm also not a professional mixed martial artist. I'm an announcer. These guys <laughs> come to fight. And there's a one-two from Garner. I think Christian got rocked with that one. Midway through the third round. Short left hand from Garner. Fatigue written all over the face of Maxim Grisham. Grisham. Yet I will credit him here. He is still in the game, but looking for it. Here's a Hanegoshi, but with the wizard. Well defended by Garner. I'm surprised he fell to his guard twice in a row after failed takedowns. He must feel confident that he can get a submission, or he's just that tired. One minute, 57 seconds left in the third round. Kenny Garner in top position. Maxim Christian on the bottom. Oh, my. And there is one of the what easiest wins I've ever seen in my life. A reversal that was, wow. Merry Christmas, Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat. That was a treat. When well, you're going to fall over, it's called stick your arm out. It's called a post. Put it on the ground, and they can't roll you over. That's one-on-one, -on -one, brother. Cross face there by Christian, now looking for the legs. Oh, uh, figure four by Garner to defend it. And now Garner back in top position. Don't go for a submission where you're going to lose position. Well, that's the same position before submission. Now some ground and pound from Garner momentarily posturing up. Can't just wait Our mutual friend, good old JR, WWE Hall of Famer Jim Ross, would be calling this Boeing shoe ugly right about now, Pat. <laughs> Everybody loves JR. Less than a minute remaining in the third round. I went out for the bowling team because my family couldn't afford shoes. <laughs> 45 seconds left in the third round. Garner with the right hand. That was an up kick to the head of a grounded opponent. Referee. Go over there. Getting Garner to get up. Look at these guys, both of them very, very fatigued. Over there. Kick, kick to the head on the grounded opponent. I said time. Okay. No kick. Are you okay? Are you okay? You ready to continue? You ready? Yeah. All right. Ready? Okay, referee called for timeout, but as you heard the whistle go, we believe there's uh, less than 10 Four. seconds left time, in the time, time. round, and now a wardrobe malfunction. Time was called. Bell goes. Uh, Yikes! This off. It's called communication. Ah! Wow. Takes all kinds, I guess. Uh, an, uh, an interesting round. I'll leave it at that. The round is officially over. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Just... And if we will uh, listen into the round here, let's get Alec to uh, translate. You have to throw him all the time. Continue to throw and then sit on top of him and finish the fight. Again, keep on breathing, but always remember, you have to throw him and end up on top of him. Why are you trying to do the leg locks? Just sit on top of him. Just finish the round, continue. Do light jab, and constantly, as soon as he throws the punch, tries to meet him with you. A look at Vinny Magalash warming up in the dressing room. The Abu Dhabi and M1 Challenge Light Heavyweight Champion getting set to make the first defense of his title. He'll defend the belt against Mikhail Zayats. That's coming up in tonight's main event. Now, Pat, you have, oh, well, let's listen here first. Garner's corner. All right, Pat, I wanted to 
to get your thoughts on uh, the great job the translator is doing, but you as a, a trainer of so many champions, have you, have you ever told one of your fighters to just sit on the floor? Well, I think in translation, what he was saying is get a takedown, get mount, and pound this guy out. Quit going for submissions where you end up on the bottom. And it was actually, I think, very good advice from his corner. Gardner in the black, white trunks, Christian. The black and yellow just flopping to his back. We have seen action before, and I believe it was earlier in my career I saw a fighter, and the name escapes me now, who continually did this, who was ended, he ended up being disqualified. For just, you know. It's called timidity. Timidity, there you go. Passivity, not wanting to fight. He looks like he wants to bait Garner, and Garner's going for the bait. Control crucifix, not a pleasant place to be. And from the crucifix position, he continues to batter away at the face of Christian. Christian now trying to take a page out of Garner's playbook, looking to, to slide out underneath the ropes and uh, let's see if he stands him back up. Wow. Far be it from me to criticize any professional athletes because it takes heart and courage for these guys to do what they do, but man, oh, they not in the, they, they finally did a rep though, Pat. Hey, 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 but you can't do it for one and not do it for the other. 50-50, buddy. What the? Referee Raw Nation gets it right that time as Gardner now gets back on his feet, and Gardner's saying, get him up, bring him up. Look at Kenny, I tell you what, man. He's still got gas in the tank, buddy. Here he comes. Leg kick by Grishin. Knee countered by Garner. There's a push kick by Grishin. Nice back fist. Overhand right by Garner. Misses. Now they come to close quarters again. Now Garner with a knee and another knee to the rib cage. Grishin trying to block. Anticipating another knee strike from Garner. Garner bumping with that shoulder, trying to get some distance to get a punch off. Here it is, maybe the double unders. Can he lock it up and get a takedown? Less than three minutes remaining in the penultimate round. We are scheduled for five five-minute rounds. I wonder if Gordon Guggenishvili is smiling ear to ear watching what's transpiring in this fight. Here it is, here it is. Takedown by Grishin. Oh. But Garner reverses it immediately. He was just too fatigued when they hit the ground to even control him. Midway through the fourth round. Close guard, Grisham. Garner not even trying to posture up at this time. Short right hand. Can't just lay there, guys. Got to fight. Come on. Well, the evening began with three lightning quick submission finishes in the opening round, but the action is slowed to a crawl here in this interim heavyweight title fight. A heavy breathing crawl. to pass a guard or stay here and pound it out. I don't know what he's going to do. They're both resting, my friend. And the referee knows that. He's going to stop the action and bring them back up to their feet eventually. Well, now, I, I got to tell you, when you see your opponent like that, not getting up fast, it's time to pour on the gas. Sticks him with the left hand. Goes downstairs to the body. Christian is down. Christian is in trouble here. Garner looking to finish the fight. Referee Ron Nation comes in and Christian again. And this is, you know what? When I was calling fights in Japan for Pride Fighting Championships, I thought I was an advocate of the ring because of the, the, the athletic uh, uh, representation, boxing and stuff. I'm not a fan of the ring anymore, though, buddy. The cage is, is where it's at because of stuff like this. Right, yeah, it does slow down the action. 
some people like bouncing off the ropes and, and using it for leverage and easier to stuff take down. And for a viewing experience, the ring is probably much better, but in this case, it is being used wrongly. For the game. referee needs to know that. There's some knee strikes from Garner. Ten seconds remaining. We are headed to the fifth and final round. And the crowd screaming, knock him out! <laughs> wow. You just sit down, relax. You have to take him into the corner. You have to take him down and work over there. Just sit straight and you have to tolerate the pain. He's tired as you, but you have to breathe properly right now and tolerate the pain. coming on strong in this round. Here it is. Cross-sides crucifix made famous by Matt Hughes. Garner using the big heavy hits. There's the big right hand from the guard. Garner doing a good job throwing punches from there. Tell you what, Garner's got a decent gas tank. I mean, this has not been an easy fight for either guy, but Garner, there's a body shot that definitely hurt Grisham. Obviously, he went down from that. All right, time for the fifth and final center of the ring, low kick from Grisham, countered with a right hand from Garner. And again, lather, rinse, repeat. Forget about technique, this one is going to come down to conditioning, I think, Pat. Yeah, it's definitely uh, hard. Your mind plays tricks on you when you get tired of fights. But if if you haven't made your training 10 times worse than any fight could ever be, you don't belong in the ring, quite frankly. You have to torture yourself so that nobody can make you that tired. And that's just the way it's gotta be, otherwise you're wasting your time. The insight of former UFC champion and a trainer of the Myriad Champions, Pat Militich, as we continue to watch Kenny Gardner and Maxim Grisham, Garner going back to the body, doing a good job of mixing it up on there. So Grisham now looking for the standing guillotine. Garner sticking his head up. Garner's lost to that before. I think it was Grugan Vili that beat him by that, correct? That is right. There it is. Oh, he got his head out. A minute and a half gone in the last round. Championship round. Right to the liver. By one from Garner. He's in trying to puddle. There it is. He's got the body lock. He's got to turn him out to the center of the ring, though, to get this. It's not going to help him from this position. Now trying to turn him down. Couldn't quite finish it. Can't get his hands down low enough. See Garner locking his hands and pushing on the hips. If Christian can't get his hips in close, he can't finish that takedown. Locking it up again. Had his arm around the rope, the tie down.
kid's showing a lot of heart for as tired as he is, boy. I gotta give him credit. A ton of heart here in the fifth and final round. It's still plenty of time left. Gotta get that arm across, though. Saying that Grisham tapped. All right. I didn't see that tap. I didn't see it. We'll uh, have to check the replay, my friend, because I didn't see it. Oh, and uh, we're being told that there was indeed a tap by Grisham. And what, I mean, some great action there in the final moments. And Penny Garner ends up defeating Maxim Grisham and becoming M1 Challenge Interim Heavyweight Champion. And there is a celebration, but uh, he's going to have to do a lot more work if he wants to unify the titles against Gurum Guganishvili, who is an undefeated submission savant. Absolutely. Going to have to work on, work on quite a bit of technique and work on his conditioning. You can see Grishin there. You know he's going to sleep well tonight. He's exhausted, flat out exhausted. Uh, showed a lot of heart, though, there in the fifth round. Really tried sucking it up, went for submissions, went for the finish. And uh, when you're that tired, you know, it, uh, it's awfully tough to do. Great round there. Here's Grishin with the triangle choke. I tell you what, he's working hard. He just didn't get Garner's arm across to cut off one side carotid artery. And using his leg to cut off the other side, was not able to do that. So really, it's no use pulling down on the head at that point because one side of Garner's neck is still open and he's able to uh, keep blood flowing to the brain and Garner just hustling, hustling, torquing his way out of that thing. Here it is, cross-side crucifix again, kind of halfway and dropping the right hands on him. When you get out of that many submissions, I think you come out a little bit angry and Garner showed that by uh, dropping bombs on Grisham there to finish the fight. Let's send it up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, with a time of four minutes, seven seconds in round number five, the fighter taps out due to strikes. He is the winner by way of submission. He is now the M1 Global Interim Heavyweight Champion, Kenny Deuce Garner. All right, Kenny Deuce Garner, congratulations. You're the new interim heavyweight champion. They can't all be masterpieces. Why do you think it took you so long to, to stop a, an obviously fatigued Maxim Grishin? Um, he caught me with a couple shots, but it was okay. I could take a punch. I love you too. And what about, uh, let's take a look at the end of the fight here then on the replay and uh, talk us through what, uh, how you ended up becoming interim champion. Um, I seen he was breathing hard every time I punch him. So I just kept on pushing the pace. Good job. I think it's time for you to go to 205. What about uh, the fact that the last time you lost was against the undefeated M1 Challenge heavyweight champion, Gurum Guganishvili. You were supposed to challenge him for the title. He is here in attendance tonight. Any words to the man that you will face to unify the titles? I'm going to take care of this belt until you come back, and I'm going to still keep it. Good luck. Hurry up and get better. I'm going to pray for you. I want to give a shout out to all my sponsors, Bram All, American Top Team, Port St. Lucie, Vero, Wolfpack, Sunrise, Crystal Palace, Doxology. All right. Anybody else? One more. I'll give you one more. I'm gonna give one more big shout out to everybody who believe in me. And, and I got one more to everybody who was against me. I love you too, cause you paid to come see me. All right, there you have it. He is the new M1 Challenge Interim Heavyweight Champion, Kenny Deuce Garner.